Good morning, y'all. I'm sitting on my porch this morning putting this video together of us catching these turtles. And I figured before y'all watch this video, I would come on and do a little PSA here. Uh, I said this in the video of us putting the trap out, but I figured I better say it again in this video because we actually have the turtles. And to prevent anybody from thinking otherwise, the turtles that we're catching are common snapping turtles, not alligator snapping turtles. Alligator snapping turtles are endangered. Common snapping turtles are not. We checked all the rules and regulations and stuff for the state of Alabama. We know what we're doing is good and perfectly legal before we do it. And yeah, common snapping turtles, you are legally allowed to catch them and eat them, which is what we're going to do. We also caught these turtles over the course of like... I think it was a week or so i know it was over a week that we caught these turtles and we purged them you know we put them in clean water to kind of clean them out and we caught seven of them but three of them ended up getting out you'll see in the video appreciate y'all so as y'all saw we were setting turtle traps and we caught several of them and now we're gonna clean them and i don't know if i can put that on youtube Mm, we'll see we'll see how it turns out and if i think it's youtube appropriate but yep that's what we're about to do today and i'm getting this ladder to put in the back of dad's truck because we need it to go and get some tin off this old barn and some woods that we hunt for turkeys now the the landowner gave us permission to get that and some big old old poles. So I'm getting this ladder beside my house, putting this truck. But if you watch my YouTube videos a lot, then you'll see where we, you know, we looked at the old home site and the old house with the tin and all on top of it and the old trucks and stuff. So that's what this is for. But just keeping y'all updated. Everybody's still under quarantine and not going nowhere. It is the first day of April, thing, I think, Ugh, today. Doing this one-handed is fun. Yeah, I got my house chained down for tornado season, just in case. Yep, that's what we got going on though, about to go clean some snapping turtles so we can eat them. Appreciate y'all. Right, so believe it or not snapping turtles can climb because we've got this it's a water trough that's dug into the ground hang on i'll show y'all it's buried i don't even know we got turtles in there and you know we had that table on top right here and the whole top was covered and you can see where they scratched up right here. And the scratches on the sides of the boards where they climbed up this and got out. We had seven turtles originally. We don't know if we got any now, but we're going to see. That's wild though, ain't it? I mean, this is, you know, pretty high. Oh, we got one. Well, we got something to eat. He's a little one. We got one. Oh, we got another one. Yeah. Need to put him in something. Yeah. In a barrel. Oh. Look at the leech on his back. He's a little aggressive, just a little bit. I need something. I need something to put him in for. I can't stick my foot in front of him. 
Well, you can, but you might get, your, you might get, get a little chowed up. Mm-hmm. Well, that's two for sure. Our... Good turtle. Fat. That's a good turtle. Ooh. Comes around him. There he goes. There he was. Yeah. Got pretty good little reef. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be climbing, climbing up, out in just a minute. Unbelievable. You wouldn't think a darn turtle could do it. Well, we got four, at least. I can't believe we caught that many. See how close that was. You see his head come up just as I drop. I it. didn't see it, but I can probably rewind this and see it. Yeah, we lost three. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Three turtles climbed out. You know that had to be a rough fall. Kind of slop. Sorry. That's all that work I went through. Yeah. Now they're... Yeah. He is. He's stood up. He is not happy. Smallest one in there, too, is the one that's all blowed up. Oh. All right. Well, we had seven. Got four now. Four now. Better than nothing, though. Yeah, well, that'll make it. That'll stink up the grease anyway. Yep. He's getting a bath. Look at that leaf on his back. Yeah, got a good one. That's fish bait right there. Four turtles worth of meat right here that daddy did most of the cleaning and I learned some stuff but now we're cutting all this fat off all this yellow is nasty ain't it yeah, yeah you gonna get that off. yellow all that off all that that that's a lot of meat though you know what yeah it's a tub full yeah of meat there's more on them than I thought you could get off. Yeah, that knife's getting a little dull, ain't it? That skin's rough Spin. on the blade. That's what she's working on, though. Yep. Getting that fat off. Yep. Cook these after a while. But that's what we got. This is the, what is this? It's front leg. Front leg. Front leg, shoulder. Front leg and shoulder. That's front quarter, the back half. That's front quarter. It's just a bigger turtle. That's a neck. Yeah. You said that's the best taste. That's part. the best part of the whole turtle. Man. And then we'll have some back legs. Here. But they're all oh, good. There we go. Yep. There's back some, legs. Back, back, back legs. legs. Yep. Yep. That's the back half. Back half. Front quarter. Another neck right there on the end. Oh, yeah. Back half. Back half. Yeah, it's gonna be some good eating though. Neck. We we trying to figure out how to make it, whether we do gumbo or pressure cook it and then turn around and deep fry it. We we thinking on that. We thinking on it. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. And last, I'm gonna put some borax. Hang on. In these turtle shells to cure. You know, the little bit of meat and all that's left on the inside. Some instant tan borax, whatever it's called. Gonna put some of that on there so that we can use these turtle shells for decoration or anything. I think they're pretty. So.
just so y'all know, I'm investing right now in a tripod and a GoPro and stuff like that. So hopefully these videos will be a little bit better after I do that. Because the tripod would be nice right now. I've got my phone leaned up against an impact grill. And this video, I recorded us cleaning the turtles too. But I have a feeling that YouTube will um, censor it, demonetize it, put a strike against my channel. And I just, I don't want to lose my YouTube channel because I know some people have posted stuff and got enough strikes against their channel that they lost it. So, really don't want that to happen. But, I do have the video of... I just threw borax everywhere of us cleaning it that I would love to share somewhere because I know that, you know, a lot of people don't know how to clean these things. I didn't know how to clean them until Dad showed me today because we hadn't done it since I was little. But this is kind of a, a dying art that, you know, people don't do anymore. Dad grew up eating turtles and I've ate them. I just have never helped clean them. Because, like I said, we hadn't done it since I was little, little. My granddaddy grew up in Louisiana, so he can cook gumbo and all that stuff. Lord, it's good. And with this, you just make sure everything's covered with this white powder that'll keep it, like, you know, so it won't all rot out. All right, that right there. You put a little more there, maybe. Now, the next one. We got this stuff under here in an old box. We've had it forever with the darn steel soles and everything else. And it's a powder, but this is clumped up because it's kind of old and it's been there for so long, but still works. 